me here, the dangerous beauty, and I'm here to show you how to demat your dogs behind the ears. So my dog is a great Pyrenees. She tends to get really matty. Um, I used to do a lot better before when it came to dematting her, um, but I got a little lazy, so <laughs> I'm getting better at it. But um, I'm pretty much almost done dematting what's behind it. I usually am good about brushing her. I brushed her last night, so we've been in the green. But I wanted to tell you what I actually use. A lot of people use clippers. They take them into the actual place in the groomer. Sometimes that could get expensive, so I do it myself. I am a licensed hair stylist, so um, what I found to work really well are these styling razors. They're not really razor razors. They're not very sharp. Um, they have, like, these grooves, whatever you call them. Um, they're initially used for doing certain haircuts on clients, and it's like a one, it, they call it a razor, but it's not really a razor razor, it has these grooves, things that kind of make it easier to cut, but they don't like, they're not sharp, so it's not harmful, it won't hurt the dog's hair, um, you know, the matting is good to get rid of because it can cause blisters, and so um, it, won't, it won't hurt the dog, so I use this, you can buy these probably at like Sally's, as you can see, this is what the razor looks like, the type of tool that you use to cut hair, and so um, you can even style it, you know, we're going to get to it. So I'm pretty much almost done with this side, and then I just have to do this side. Don't mind my hair, it's just wacko because I didn't wear uh, <laughs> an actual um, scarf last night. So, I know, stylist not wearing a scarf head. How dare you, how dare you. But, um, so yeah, so pretty much you just use this one tool. I think you can get them at Sally's or some hair store that you can actually purchase from. Some people, if you're not licensed, certain stores won't allow for you to purchase from there, so you just have to be careful. Um, it comes in a box. This one comes in tin. Of course, I've used a few of them because I've used it, some of these blades on the razor um, itself for, you know, doing hair or whatever. But this is actually really good. It's really simple and really easy to use. I'm almost finished with this side. So if you can see, I don't know if I can zoom in. It won't let me do it on this phone. But I'm almost finished, if you can kind of tell. Um, and I just gently do it. She usually doesn't let me even touch her, like, very long, as you can see. She tries to bite me. <laughs> but it's very, you do it very gently. She, she ain't having it today. She was letting me do it. So if she's in this calm position, I can usually do it. But you take it where it is from, make sure it's not attached to the ear. It's not to the point where it's really bad, where it's actually causing any blisters and hasn't caused one. So I'm glad about that. But it's a very gentle process. She's just not letting me do it because she don't. My dog's something else. But it's almost off, and I have pretty much taken uh, most of it off. And this ear is going to be a little bit more challenging because I haven't gotten to the, the end part. This one is pretty much almost off, as you can tell. It's almost coming off. But she's not letting me do it because she's not being a good sport right now. But it's really simple. This is a really good tool. It's always been three minutes. Purchase them.